Rose O'Neill Greenhow by Amber N. and K. Han K. Born with the name Maria Rosetta, Rose O'Neill Greenhow was born in 1814 in a small town in Montgomery County, Maryland. Montgomery County, Maryland is one of the most populated counties and is located adjacent to Washington, D.C. Her parents were John O'Neill and Eliza Henrietta Hamilton, and she was the third born out of five children. She was most close to her older sister, Ellen Elizabeth O'Neill. In 1817, her father was murdered by his own valet, causing Hamilton to become a widow. Then, at around 1830, Greenhow and her siblings were orphaned. Because of this, Ellen Greenhow and Rose Greenhow were invited to move to Washington, D.C. to live with her aunt, Mrs. Maria Ann Hill. Mrs. Maria Ann Hill owned a boarding house, which housed many top politicians, including James Buchanan, the now former president. This caused her to become a popular, well-known Washington hostess. While in Washington, she met her husband, Dr. Robert Greenhow, who was a lawyer, a doctor, and worked with the State Department. They married on May 26, 1835. They had four children, Florence, Gertrude, Layla, and Rose. Rose was named after her mother and was given the nickname Little Rose. In 1850, Dr. Robert Greenhow was sent to work in the West Coast, followed by Rose Greenhow. However, she went back to Washington, D.C. to give birth to her fourth child. Sadly, before Robert Greenhow could return back to Washington, he fell off a sidewalk in California, killing him from post injuries on March 27, 1854. Recovering from his death, she moved to a house closer to Washington, D.C., where she became closer to James Buchanan and U.S. Senator John Calhoun. Using her popularity, she influenced many people to vote for James Buchanan and elected him as president in 1856. Because of her friendship with Calhoun, she became closer to the South and Confederacy, catching the eye of U.S. Army Captain Thomas Jordan, who then recruited her as a Confederate spy in spring of 1861. As a Confederate spy, her role was to cipher messages and provide information of the Union's military plans and send the information through a courier, Betty Duval, who was just 16 years old. One of the dispatches that she sent helped General Pierre Toutant Bergard win the Battle of Bull Run in 1861. Alan Pinkerton, Head of Secret Services, was ordered by George McClellan to watch over Greenhow, later arresting her due to suspicious activities with her visitors. Greenhow was placed under house arrest in August 1861. Alan Pinkerton's agents traced leaked information to Greenhow's house. While searching her house, the agents found extensive intelligence materials left from evidence she tried to burn, including coded messages and plans of Washington fortifications and reports of military movements. These were from her findings while watching the Union. Visitors to Greenhouse home were then supervised and the southern flow of information was under Pinkerton's control. Following a request from the North, Pinkerton was forced to move Greenhow and her daughter, Little Rose, to the Old Capitol Prison. Greenhow continued to pass in secret messages to the Confederacy while in prison. Greenhow was released from prison in 1862 without a trial on the condition that she stayed within the com Confederate boundaries. She moved with her daughter to Richmond, Virginia, where Greenhow was celebrated by the Southerners as a heroine of the Confederacy. Jefferson Davis, 
the president of the confederacy welcomed her and enlisted her as a courier to europe greenhow accepted the task and traveled to britain and france to strengthen ties between them and the south in 1864 greenhow returned from europe aboard the condor a british blockade runner carrying dispatches however the condor ran aground at the cape of fear river near wilmington north carolina when they were being pursued by a union gunboat fearing recapture greenhow fled on a rowboat which later capsized and resulted in her drowning she died on october the 1st 1864 When her body was recovered she was found with $2000 worth of gold sewn in her garments and a copy of her book named Imprisonment which contained a note for her daughter Little Rose